dock. You know, it's so big, this park. So beautiful. So we're over by where more of the people actually fish. So we'll see what we can get today. So guys, we've gotten one of these before too. All I can think is that they're um, scrap from the, when they put this in or something. Because we've got other ones exactly like that. Okay guys, so here's a big piece of rebar. Say it with me, this does not belong in the water. What's up with that, really? I don't think that's a bracelet. I think it's just a cut piece of metal. I don't think it's actually a bracelet. But it looks like a funny cut piece of metal. Hey Tanner, number two. Yeah, see that? Soon. Your magnet will be good. Yeah, I like I this stuff better. <laughs> you haven't tried the homeless river? Not yet. Well, I'll put it on my list. Yeah. Why? Do you have stuff you ditched there? No. Nope. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> There's a piece of metal. I just see a lot of ones. And here's another piece of metal. <laughs> it's sure pretty. I don't know if you guys can see some of the clouds over that way, but I think we have some of the most beautiful backdrops ever in this whole, in this country. Here, right here. Look at that, guys. You see that? That's another cut off piece of metal. Just like that thinner one we got. There we go. Another nice chunk of scrap. Okay, here's another little piece. It's a nut on a cutoff bolt. Okay, here's just a few little tiny pieces of metal. Or a rectangle piece of metal. Here's just another hunk of metal. Just cut off pieces that were left in the construction. Wow, what do you think that is? Huh, guys? So tell me, what is that? It's a lot of batteries, that's for sure. Oh, that's a good thing to get out. Okay, here's a bottle cap. Uh, here's a pin. And then just some pieces of metal. Okay, guys. What is this? I don't think that's a rock. I think it's some sort of metal, but I can't clean it off good enough to see it right now. So we'll have to take another check at that one. But that's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys, look at that. That's just funny. Somebody's barbecue grate. Okay, <laughs> fishing line with hooks with weights. You are getting sleepy, very, very sleepy. Like, subscribe, share, you know what to do. Here's another cut off piece of bolt. And look at the little tiny spring there, see that? Okay guys, so boom. here's a wrench. Dirty Meg Yackers. Georgia diving recovery. That's a wrench, not a pliers magnet chunky. And there's a piece of metal. It's a twist tie, guys. Of course, it wouldn't be magnet fishing without it. Okay, here's some fishing line <laughs> with a hook. And then look at this beautiful. This is a little thingy for the drag on the fish run. But look at this, guys. Isn't this beautiful? Look at what I got today. Isn't that gorgeous? That is really nice. We will keep that. It should bring me luck or something. Very nice to meet you. Bye, thank you. Thank you. Here's some more little just pieces of metal, guys. Okay. Here's a bottle cap. And here's a screw. Woo, 
Woo! Let's fall in. Got you if you do. Thank you. And the camera's rolling, so make sure the angle's right, okay? Because that would go viral. Hey, well, that's a nice looking weight. I don't know. It's kind of like different. You see that? Here's a bank cap, guys. I'm okay, everybody. Okay. There, right there is a... Um, washer and then just a little piece of fish line. So we have a bobby pin. We have a red hook. And we have a bottle cap. So guys, I have a red net with a big rock in it. What do you think it was for? What were they trying to hold down? Oh no, let's just drop it in there. We'll see what we can find. Okay, these are for cutting, and I got both pieces of it. They kind of fell apart. Let's put that in there, that's garbage. Here's a um, little S hook type of thing, and a little piece of metal, and an almost gone bottle cap. There's a piece of tape and stuff. We got a bottle cap. We got another bottle cap. We got a nail with a piece of fishing line on it. And we got another nail. Okay, you guys, there's an earring. Oh my goodness, you got it. Yeah, isn't that funny? Good. And all that lake, there's an earring. Oh my goodness. What else do you find? Uh, oh, but what pretty stuff did I find today? Yeah. Look at this. Hey there, shout out to Tops. Take off pound sensibly. We are, uh, we meet at the Skyway Firehouse every Wednesday from 5.30 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. And if you wanna lose a few, uh, or have some accountability, go for it. And that's in Renton, Washington, right? Renton, Washington, yep, okay, right got up it, the guys. hill. Right up the hill from Jean Collin, where I'm at. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I say hi to you too. Hey. I'll leave it in. Cool. So you guys will see yourself. Oh, That's thank you. Here's a bobby pin. Oh. And, yeah, and then, you know, garbage. I do garbage. Oh, There's a bottle cap. You. There's a bottle cap. Nice. I can say to people, you know, let's go out. I'm a vegan environmentalist. Let's go out and magnify. Or let's go out and clean up the waterways. And they're like, no, no. I say, hey, let's go magnify and find guns. And they're like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. See, what am I doing? Oh, it's God's exactly. world, right? Exactly. exactly. Yeah. We're at an angle and it's not Saturday. We can only be at angles on Saturday. <laughs> okay, so here. We got a little piece of a jig head. You guys see that? We got an old can. We got a piece of a fishing, fishing reel. We got another piece of a fishing reel. Not one, but two. And then I'm seeing this. We gotta get this. Um, I get really frustrated when I um, pull up dead ducks. Oh. <laughs> I pulled up a few dead ducks. Oh. And fish in mine. Oh, like dead fish. Oh, nice. Oh, hot dog, guys. It's always a good day. Look what we got. This is so bad. There's a spark plug. Why is a spark plug in there? And here's a gold top, bottle top, and another bottle top, and another bottle top. But nice, spark plugs are always nice to get out, huh? Okay, you guys, so we got a bottle top, boom. And then we got some scrap metal. He's gonna get some swag. Here's a, a bottle cap, guys. You're worse than the eight-year-old who said, <laughs> you're too old, and his mom went, nah, no such thing. Oh, you're a quarter, I didn't even notice. Yeah, it's okay. If you say hi, I'll keep you in. If you don't want to be kept in, you go away. Say hi. Say like, hi. There you go. Here. Listen, we have some poker chips left. Wow, got stuck on some stuff that time, seriously. Oh, but I'm getting stronger. There's the 
bolt. Here's fishing line. And look at all that slack. Holy cannoli. Okay, guys, today it's all done. It was great being out here. It feels really good. The weather seems to be more to my perfection. <laughs> not too hot, not too cold, not too windy, not too rainy, not too anything. It's a very beautiful day today. I hope you guys saw some beautiful sights in the sky and stuff like that. I hope wherever you are in this world that you got out today, that you got to do something for you, something for your family, something for those around you, something for the environment. I hope you got outside today, whatever that means, just out of the house, out of your dwelling, whatever that is. And you got some fresh air and you did see, get to see some beautiful sights. Cause I tell you, man, today in the Pacific Northwest is a beautiful day. It feels so perfect today. And the two hours of magnet fishing was amazing. <laughs> And, um, you probably won't see this till after Saturday, but Saturday we're going to take the kayak out and we're going to go do Lake Mead. Um, oh no, not Lake Mead. Oh, what is my problem? We're going to go out and do Lake Meridian in Camp Washington as long as the weather's good and all that. I feel like I'm really, really super muddy today, but that's okay. I had a great time out. I'm so excited. I feel so relaxed. So from here, I always go home and I take a shower and then I start editing. Um, tomorrow is hashtag I dig Fridays. I'd really appreciate anybody who can come and make it. Um, it's really fun. Hashtag I did Friday. I dig Fridays is not as long as hashtag Monday digs, but it still continues on. Um, uh, it's still a fun time. It's just not quite as long yet. We're working on building it up. So the more people we can get at that channel time, the more we can build it up. So I'd really appreciate all you guys being there when you can. So, um, yeah, so Saturday should be live. I have some work in the morning um, and then I'm gonna turn around and uh, head out with the kayak. Um, it's not supposed to rain, so as long as nothing changes, it's good because I don't take the kayak out, kayak out when it's raining, okay? So everybody remember that no matter where you are in your life, you were there because of the choices you made. So decide to make good choices, okay? Decide to, to look for the positive, not the negative. Decide to find the good, not the bad, okay? Decide to take any situation that you're in, and if you need to, please take a beat before you answer or you react. Taking a beat can change the whole outcome of everything, and it, it you just need to not make emotional decisions, okay? Think it through. Take time to think it through. Don't let anybody rush you any other ways. Nobody has control over you but you, all right? So I need you please think about what I'm telling you, okay? You have control over you. You have control of what you put in your mouth. You have control over over how you exercise. You have control over, over uh, how you get out of the house. You have control over what you did all day. You have control of that, not anybody else. And if you've given that to somebody else, then you need to take it back. And I'm not saying everybody needs to go walk five miles because there's a lot of people who has physical challenges who can't do that. But I'm talking about at least getting your wheelchair and go down to the end of the driveway and sit out in the sun for a while, sit out in the air for a while. If it's, if it's really rainy, get your umbrella and jacket and go sit outside for a while, get some fresh air, get some exercise, figure out with your mobility what it is you can do and you can't do and do it, okay? You don't have to do what I'm doing. You can do whatever you want, but I ask you, please get out and do something with your day and with your life, okay? If you're unhappy about where things are, you're where you're supposed to be because of the choices you made and the way you've reacted to things. Now, I know bad things happen, and I know sometimes you need to breathe and find a new normal. I get that. I get that. I'm working on that right now myself, okay? So I'm not... I'm, I'm trying to give you hope that you can get up you can brush it all off and you can see what the next day is going to bring you, okay? Because I love you and I want what's best for you. I want what's best for you on a daily basis, okay? Grandma Kelly loves you. See, love you, bye.